So I like doing these rambling videos because there is, or I don't need to have a structure. I mean, most of my video videos do not have a structure to it. But recently, you know, I have started like doing a little bit of editing and like especially with the um with the um how I stay happy during quarantine video that definitely was structured like I planned it out. It's the same thing with the dating apps one which I will get to one of these days, but I don't think I'll have it as structured. I think people I mean like I think it's just better if I just talk. I mean I did have a structure, you know, with the intro, how I got started and stuff, but I think it's just better if I just like talk about it out loud in a different video where I just talk about like the entire timeline and the most significant events. Okay, so I think in this video I'll just talk about um social media. Um for me, like for me personally, uh social media, especially like um the Facebook news feed and the Instagram feed are very distracting or they're very fun to scroll through and then I realized that I've just spent so much time scrolling through them so at least for me personally it's a time waster however I mean in my video in how I stay happy during quarantine to me social media is a positive experience it's just that like it just takes up a lot of time so I don't know if anyone has noticed, but I've been going on it less. And then, like, and the fact that I've been going on um, Facebook and Instagram less um, made me realize that, wow, I have more time to do other things. But now, since I'm doing, like, other things, I realize, oh, shoot, there's not that much time in the day, or time just goes by significantly quickly. Um, I think, like, um, even though my my mental health is a lot better now. I think sometimes I still see myself like subconsciously, unconsciously comparing myself to other people. I do appreciate what I have and I know we're all different. So there are some things that you can't compare, but you kind of just can't help it. It's like, oh shoot, this person went to this awesome place. I wish I was there. I know it's normal to feel that way. I just noticed that for me, like going, um, on Facebook less and going on Instagram less has allowed me to um, have more time to do other things that I like doing that are essentially more productive but I think they're just things that like so that, that just make me happier I don't know time just goes by really quickly and I think it's because I'm reading more manga and I just it's just the stories are just so good like reading is so much fun that I just can't uh stop i'm like oh shoot like this day is almost over i need to, i need to sleep but sleeping is like not optional as much as i want to pull all-nighters reading a book it's not a good idea to do so because i need to sleep and the book will be there i can read it the next day it's not going anywhere but yeah um but the I still go on, um, well, I mean, I'm obviously on YouTube still, but I still go on um, Snapchat. But to me, Snapchat is not a time waster because barely anyone goes on, which means that there are less stories to watch and there are less people to talk to on Snapchat when I post my stories because I believe that a lot of people who used to use Snapchat are on Instagram because Instagram has... Um, Instagram stories so it's like they have Instagram so it's like okay if you can post pictures onto the feed onto the Instagram feed and also post stories then it's like why use Snapchat because it's like because it kind of works the same way now like you know Instagram stories it's just like another form of Snapchat but I still like using Snapchat just because I like how I mean like Instagram does this too but I like how um Snapchat um saves my memories if you Put that option in so normally you know like um your um, stories disappear after like 24 hours but if you um have the auto save function it keeps it forever until you delete it and it becomes your memories like years later so yeah that's why i like going on snapchat because it's not a time waster see i know like other people can manage their time well but once i get started 
on social media, it's like, I just keep going because like in Facebook, there are all these cool travel photos and whatnot. It's like, oh, I want to share. I want to share this. I want to go to this place and that place. But then there's also YouTube for that too. So I guess what I'm saying is that uh, because I've gone on Facebook and Instagram less, I have found better ways to make use of my time. So, um, but I'll still be on the... Um, on them just not as much as before but yeah they're not bad it's just you have to be mindful of your time so I mean you can because I think social media is cool in the sense that you can communicate with people more easily and you can see what other people what other people are up to it's just how much time do you spend on it so I mean it's up to you whether you think it's good or bad I think it's good if you use it wisely. Bad if you you bad if it wastes your time and you're not being productive. Thanks for watching.